You are welcome to the automated topology control in AutoCAD Map 3D exercise. I am Vlada Melchenko. I will explain how to easily find all topology errors in a polygon feature class on the example of this semi-transparent layer that presents land parcels. We can see it on the task pane. Its source is the parcels with error shape file. Of course, it is very important for us to be sure that this shape file is completely free of gaps and overlaps. But even if we zoom this layer to a small extent, it is still good looking and boundaries of the adjoining features seem to completely coincide. But this is only our illusion. We should never believe in. Instead, we have to check a boundary of each feature. We can do it feature by feature, zooming to each boundary and to each vertex. But this approach is very time consuming and not reliable because it doesn't give us any guarantee that we have found all topology errors. However, fortunately, AutoCAD Map 3D provides us with a really excellent solution for this problem. The basic idea is to create a topology, because in the process of creating a topology, the program recognizes all gaps and overlaps as new polygons and adds centroids to these polygons. We can define a separate layer for these new centroids in order to easily use them as markers for the topology errors. First, we'll import this shape file to our map. For that, we'll click the Insert tab on the ribbon. Remember that our ribbon is tool-based. And click the Map Import button. In the Import Location window, we'll select the SHP format in the files of Type pop-up. Navigate to our shape file, select it and click OK. And we'll click OK in the Import window. Thus, we have converted all features in this shape file to M polygons. We'll turn our shape file out and we'll create centroids for these M polygons. For that, we'll click the Create tab on the ribbon and click the Create Centroids button. And we'll click OK in the Create Centroids window. New centroids for the possible gaps and overlaps will be added later and on another layer. Therefore, it will be very easy for us to distinguish between these two groups of centroids. Actually, only the new centroids are of our final interest, but all the centroids are needed to create a topology. Then we'll select any M polygon, right click and click the Select Similar command. We'll go to the Home tab on the ribbon, expand the Modify panel and click the Explode button. So we have converted all M polygons to closed polylines, but at least some polylines have coincident segments. It's impossible to create a topology from such objects. Therefore, we have to prepare our map a little bit before creating a topology. For that, we'll click Modify on the menu bar and we'll click the Drawing Cleanup command. In the Drawing Cleanup window, we'll click Next. Map3D understands polylines with coincident segments as crossing objects. We must break such objects. For that, we'll select the Break Crossing Objects Cleanup action and click the Add button and click Finish. We have broken the polylines. With the Crossing window, we'll select this polyline, for instance. But in the Properties window, we see that we have actually selected two polylines. This is because one of them is a duplicate. We must remove all duplicates, otherwise we cannot create a topology. For that, again, we'll click Modify on the menu bar and click Drawing Cleanup. And we'll click Next in the Drawing Cleanup window. We have already applied this action and don't need it anymore, so we'll click the Remove button. We'll select the Delete Duplicates action and click the Add button. And generally, it is recommended to apply the Zero Length Objects action to delete such objects. They can be on our map and hinder creating a topology. So we'll select this action and click the Add button and we'll click Finish. Now our map is ready for creating a topology. But first we'll create a new layer for the new possible centroids. For that we'll click the Layer Properties button and we'll click the new layer button in the Layer Properties Manager window and close this window. We'll click the Map Explorer tab on the task pane, right-click Topologies and click Create. 
In the create topology window, we'll select the polygon option and click create new centroids. We'll make sure that the create missing centroid checkbox is checked. In the layer pop-up, we'll select the layer we've just created and click finish. So our topology is ready. It contains some new centroids if our shape file has gaps or overlaps. The best way to extract these centroids is to convert them to a new feature class. For that, we'll click the output tab on the ribbon and we'll click the SSDF button. In the export location window, we'll define and open a folder for this new feature class and we'll name this class in some way and click OK. On the selection tab in the export window, we'll click this button right to the list of layers and we'll select the layer we just created in the select layers window and click select and we'll click OK in the export window. Thus we have created a new feature class. We'll click the display manager tab on the task pane and click the data button and the connect the data command. In the data connect window we'll select at HDF connection and click this button. We'll navigate to our new feature class, select it and click open. And we'll click the connect button and the add to map button and close the data connect window. And now we see these two point features. We'll turn our shape file on and zoom to one of these points. As we see, there is a gap between these two polygon features in our shapefile because this vertex is incorrectly located. We'll go to the second point. And here we clearly see an overlap. So this point is simultaneously located on the both polygon features. We'll examine these features and we see that one of them doesn't have any vertex that should be coincident with this vertex of the second feature. Of course, it is very easy to remove these errors because AutoCAD Map 3D is very rich in editing tools. But our task has been the search for these errors. And I hope you've got convinced that AutoCAD Map 3D is very successful in performing such a task. Thank you for your attention.